Okay guys, let's see how you can access a particular machine using remote desktop connection even if that particular machine user account doesn't have any password. So say for example you have one particular user created on that machine and that machine's that particular user which you created to be accessible via remote desktop connection does not actually have a password. So in such a scenario when you try to normally access that machine using remote desktop connection it will throw an error that uh, this is invalid username or password or something like that. So what do you want to do in that case is um, go to start and then type run open the run menu um, go to group policy editor which is gpedit.msc and once you are there you want to go to computer configuration which is this one okay, uh, let me maximize it a bit okay inside computer configuration go to windows settings um, which is this then go to local policies I'm sorry security settings and then to local policies under security options um, you have this particular feature this policy that says accounts limit local account use of blank passwords to console logon only and right now it is enabled now if you want to read what that actually means and you can go through the explanation part of it what I did is I just double clicked this particular policy and I have this particular window now if you want to have that particular machine accessible via remote desktop connection even if the user does not have any password on it uh, you just have to disable this particular policy once you disable and apply this and then click OK now uh, my machine because I have disabled it it should be accessible on user uh, on remote desktop connection um, with a user that does not have any password if I have created that user in the first place on my machine and if I have added that user uh, to the list of remote desktop users I'm assuming you have already done that because if you're watching this particular video okay so as simple as that you just have to go on to this particular policy and disable it then on whichever machine this particular policy is disabled it will be accessible via remote desktop connection even if the user through which you're accessing the machine does not have a password um, if like me you prefer going through the registry editor way um, I personally prefer that so you just go to reg reg edit um, <coughs> excuse me so inside reg edit what you have to do is you have to go to H key local machine system current control set control um, LSA and over here you have to find the option that says limit blank password use now you have to make it zero if it is not already zero right now it is already zero for me because remember I just changed the setting over there I disabled the service this is the same thing if you click if you do zero over here it will be disabled automatically over there so if you want to, it will show you one on your machine right now if it is not configured for this particular purpose so that it can be accessible via remote desktop connection through a user which does not have a password but you can make it zero and then click OK then it should be accessible uh, on remote desktop connections even without a password so that was it for this particular video guys um, do like my video do share it if you liked it uh, do share in comments any suggestions you have or anything like that if you have any concerns any queries and uh, do subscribe to my channel that really motivates me to create more and more videos again thanks a lot for watching this video guys and do stay tuned for more